Hi guys, welcome back to Money Monday. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kat Theo, and today I'm not wearing any makeup. Actually, let's just move this camera back a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's better. Maybe you won't focus on it too much. You know when you kind of wake up in the morning and you're just not in the mood? Today is one of those days. But we're gonna start our week off right and talk about the top paying websites for writers so you can start your writing career today or just make a little bit of cash in your free time. Okay, let's go. It's very cold today. I know you have already heard of Fiverr, but a lot of people don't realize is Fiverr is 100% free and you don't need anything to get started. All you need to do is open an account. You can set your own prices from the get-go. So if you wanna charge $20 for 250 words, you can do that and it'll probably take you like 10 minutes to write 250 words if it's something you're already familiar with. But if you don't wanna be a freelancer and you just wanna send articles to already established blogs, we're gonna get into the top paying websites right now. Okay, so if you are kind of a travel blogger, or at least if you know a little bit about traveling, our first websites are travel related blogs. The first one is Wonderlust. Wonderlust is a British blog, so their market is other British readers. So if you think you have some articles that would interest them and interest British readers, then you can send them your article or write for them. And they are known to pay 220 pounds per post. Their posts, they do expect to be around 1,000 words. The next website is for Alaska Airlines Magazine. Alaska Airlines Magazine pays $150 to $700 per post. I actually used to work for Alaska Airlines, a really good company, it's an honest company and it'd be really cool if you could write for them. It doesn't say how many words you need to write, but you can expect between 150 and 700 depending on what the topic is about. The next website you can write for for travel-related articles is Travel and Leisure Magazine. They actually pay $1 per word. So <laughs> you can do the math. That can be up to $1,000, for example, per article. Okay, our next topic is gonna be about general posts, not in specific niche per se, but the first website you can go with is Guide Posts. Guide Posts pay about $250 per article, and their articles are all based on true stories of people's achievements and goals. A lot of their posts are focused on things that people have overcame, obstacles through their faith, and or lessons learned. The next website you can use is called Chicken Soup for the Soul. I'm sure you've maybe heard of them before, but they pay out $200 per post, and they're looking for a funny, heartwarming story that has happened to you or someone you know. The last website for general posting is for Power of Living. Power for Living pays about 125 to 375 per post and it's all for Christian adults. So all of their articles are based on Christianity and faith. So if you write a 700 word article for them, you should expect around $125. And if you write 1400 to 1600 words, you can expect around $375 per post. Okay, if you wanna post about short stories, so maybe you're kind of a little bit more than just a blogger, you're an author, you can say, maybe you're into science fiction, there are many websites you can post short stories and they will pay you for it. Our first website is Clark's World. Clark's World will pay you $500 to $1,300 approximately per post. Clark's World is a science fiction magazine and they have actually won many awards for their magazine. So if you wanna write for Clark's World magazine, they have a word limit of 1,000 to 16,000 words per post. You are paid 10 cents per word up to 5,000 words and then after 5,000 words you get paid 8 cents per word. Okay so continuing the science fiction short stories you can write for Asimo's Science Fiction. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but they pay up to $1,600 per story. I also found out that they pay about 8 cents per word or up to $1,600 per post, so whatever comes first. Okay, so now we're gonna move along to politics, entertainment, and news. So if this is something you like writing about, then you can check out The Sun Magazine. The Sun Magazine will pay you up to $2,000 per post for 
non-fiction posts. You can check them out to see what kind of articles they look for, but you can expect for a non-fiction article about $300 to $2,000 per post. So if you are one of those people that are really into getting more controversial topics, you should really look into writing for The Nation. The Nation pays $150 to $500 per post. They're looking for topics on civil liberties, civil rights, labor, economics, environmental topics, privacy and policing, feminist issues, and politics. And for an in-depth article, they'll pay between $350 to $500 per post. Okay, if you're funny, are you funny? Do you think you're funny? Do your friends think you're funny? Does your mom think you're funny? Well, you can write for Cracked. Cracked is a website that is all based on humor and jokes, pretty much funny stories. If you can write a funny story, they will pay you $50 to $200 per post. If you're a funny person, you can also look into Reader's Digest. It's a really funny magazine and you can expect about $100 per post. Okay, I know we have some teachers out there. If you have an education background and you wanna write about education top posts, you can write for teacher tolerance. They will pay about $1 per word, so it can be very lucrative depending on how many words you write, but they're mostly looking for topics on diversity, multiculturalism, anti-bias, and social justice. If you're also along this line of education, the American educator pays up to $300 per post. Okay, if you are into religion, if you are someone that knows a lot about religion or your faith, you should consider writing for Devozen. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but they will pay you $25 to $100 per post for a faith-based post. And their focus is on young adults that are trying to strengthen their faith. Okay, so if you're also a really strong in your faith and you want to write about it, a really good place to think about, especially if you like sports, is Sports Spectrum. Sports Spectrum will pay you $315 to $420 per post. And they focus on kind of combining religion, Christianity, and sports for sports success. So if you like sports, and you like Christianity, and you like to write, there you go, it's a pretty good place for you to go. Our next topic, if you are into writing, is if you are familiar with special needs, people with disabilities, so if you have a family member with a disability or special needs, and it's something that you personally have a lot of experience with, you can consider writing for Pentimento. Pentimento will pay you up to $250 per post. They are focused on the disability community and also make people aware of disabilities. The Lighthouse will pay you $100 per post. So this magazine is for, they focus on blind and visually impaired individuals, but they also have a preference for writers who are blind or visually impaired. If you know someone who is blind or visually impaired and they can write, please share this with them. Okay, the next website you can consider writing for is Draft. Just like the name, they are a beer company, so they look for writers and content that surround the industry of beer. So if you know a lot about beer and you think you have something interesting to say, you can get paid 80 cents per word writing for Draft. Our next website is Main Bowl homes and harbors so just like the name suggests if you are familiar with this type of thing they mainly cover boating in Maine the state of Maine so it probably help if you have boated in Maine they pay $250 to $500 for an article that is 500 words to 1500 words country magazine will pay $250 per post for anything related to the country camping country life, living in the middle of nowhere, these kinds of things. You know, I might actually consider that from being from Nebraska, actually. Business and money article. So if you are someone that knows a lot about business and money, you can check out writing for e-commerce insiders. E-commerce insiders pay $125 per post. They focus on online retail industry, so if you have any experience with like Spotify, eBay, Amazon, FBA, this could be really interesting for you. And you can even make up to $150 with them for an article that's no longer than 600 words. I Work Well could be an interesting website for you. They pay $200 per article and they focus on human resources related topics. If you're into fiction, you can write for fantasy and science fiction. Listen up, they pay up to $3,000 per article. 
$3,000 per article. So it equals out to seven to about 12 cents per word, but it's capped at 25,000 words. So once you hit 25,000 words, you're not gonna make any more money. Hey parents, we've talked about this in my other video, but if you are a parent, then you are very qualified to write for a parenting websites. So a fine parent is one we've already talked about before, but they will pay you about $100 per post to talk about family life, anything that you think would help other parents. You also have Scary Mommy. They pay up to $100 as well per post. And they have a parenting website that is kind of twisted in a humorous way. So it's like a parenting advice in a really funny way. So if you have funny stories to tell that can help other parents, a Scary Mommy could be a great option for you. If you write 1200 words for Babbel, which is also a parenting related website, they will pay you up to $150 per post. Youth Today is a very interesting website. They will pay you $150 to $2,000 per article. They focus on caregivers and policymakers of youth. So if you're into debating and things like that, this could be an interesting website for you. Lifestyle writing. Okay, I think this is gonna be the majority of people lifestyle blogging. Girls Life will pay you up to $300 per post for anything on relationships and advice on boys, celebrity gossip, hair stuff, etc. So, you know, that could be a fun one. LA Affairs will pay you $300 per article. So they focus on things that are what's hot, what's not, aspects of dating in the Southern California area. So if this is something you're kind of into, check out LA Affairs. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop there because there are literally thousands and thousands of websites out there that will pay you to write. But if this is something you guys are actually interested in, let me know and we can do a part two of this video. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy and you're not already subscribed, do consider subscribing. It makes me feel really awesome. And leave a like and a comment. I will see you next Monday. See you later. Bye.